Let's look at this example. What is that? Z2, what's that? Well, in LaTeX, which is the typesetting program, it's called O plus. It's like a plus sign with an O around it. Uh, what does that mean? Uh, well, it's just our textbook author's notation for something called the external direct product of Z2 with itself. It's an external direct product. You should be warned that other books use different notation. Other books use a times notation. Alternatively, they write it like that. Um, I actually prefer this alternative notation. That's what I'm used to, and that's what makes more sense to me. But our author uses the O plus notation for the external direct product. But what is it? As a set, it's the set of all ordered pairs of elements from these groups. In this particular case, ordered pairs A, B, where A and B are elements of Z2. Hey, there's only two elements in Z2, right? Zero and one. This is a very small set. It's zero, zero, one, zero, zero, one, and one, one. That's what it is as a set. It's really the Cartesian product of the two groups as a set, which is why I prefer this notation, because that's cross there, that times is notation for Cartesian product. But it also turns out to be a group under component-wise operation. What does that mean? It means for the first component, do the group operation in the first group. And for the second component, do the group operation from the second group. Now, both groups here are both Z2, and the say operation is the same in this case, addition mod two. But in general, they could be different operations. And one could be a multiplication and one could be an addition. Weird things like that can happen. What happens with this particular group? What's its Cayley table look like? The operation is, again, component-wise, in this case, component-wise addition mod two, So zero, zero plus zero, zero is zero, zero. In fact, zero, zero has got to be the identity. So you're going to quickly fill in these. What's one, zero plus itself? <clears throat> For the first component, you do one plus one. Mod two is zero. For the second component, you do zero plus zero, mod two is zero. You get the identity. One zero's got order two. What's one zero plus zero one? For the first component, do one plus zero to get one. For the second component, do zero plus one to get one. What's one zero plus one one? For the first component, do one plus one mod two to get zero. For the second component, do zero plus one to get one. And yeah, this is an abelian group. You can quickly fill those in. Only four left to fill in. I hope you quickly see that zero one plus itself is zero zero. Zero one plus one one is one zero. And finally, one, one plus itself is zero, zero. This is a group of order four in which every element is its own additive inverse. Every element, every non-identity element has order two, not four. It's not cyclic. Not cyclic. It does not have a generator. 
And that's related to the example that classifies groups of order four. All right, have a good day.